Pops, it's Sam. So today I have a really exciting video because Stila has launched their fall collection 2015 and I have the products to show you guys. I've been using these for about a week and a half now. I'm obsessed. These products are insane. They are like a makeup changer and I have had so many compliments on the things that I have been wearing since I've been wearing them. So these are definitely products that you are going to want to check out for sure. I have a coupon code for you guys. It is only on the fall collection items. However, if you have a bunch of Stila items and then you have one fall collection item, you will get the discount code on your whole entire order. But you do have to have at least one fall item in there. So. I will have all of the links, all of the coupon codes, everything in the description box below, so be sure to click that so that you guys can see the coupon code so that you guys can get your discount. Um, so everything that I'm showing you is from Stila. So not only will you receive the 20% off of the fall collection, you will get free shipping as well. This is called the Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector. I have two shades. I first got light and the light was a little bit too light so then I have the medium now which is what I'm wearing. I will be showing you guys exactly how I apply this but basically I'm going to show you the medium. It's got this gorgeous gold packaging and the box that it comes in. Everything comes in these gorgeous gold like just really pretty um, boxes. It has the Stila in the gold and then you open it up. They all come with a big mirror, the little sponge which I haven't used. And then it has like a little clear plastic kind of cover to make sure it stays nice and clean from the sponge. And then there is your product. So this retails for $39, so it is a little bit pricey, but this is a really awesome product. And basically it's called a poreless putty perfector. It is like Facetune for your face. And I kind of go into it more when I'm applying it. So I'll show you, you guys can just wait for that and I'll tell you a little bit more about the product. It's like a powder, but it's not a powder. It's like a soft, creamy powder almost. It's kind of cool and it's super weightless on the skin when you're wearing it. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. It's super silky to the touch. Perfect your skin with a natural matte, undetectable coverage that looks like skin, not makeup. Bouncy to the touch, it's unique moldable texture, minimizes the appearance of pores and offers moisturizing properties. Perfectly poreless putty perfector conceals skin tone imperfections, leaving the skin looking airbrushed to perfection. Complete with a sponge, it's also the perfect mattifying touch up on the go. Which I will say that is so true, I forgot to tell you guys that. This is one of those products that you can, as because it is like, I have oily skin and I noticed after about seven hours I do look a bit oily so I was like you know what I'm gonna see if this is actually a touch-up thing as they said so I actually just took my brush and then just kind of like applied a little bit more to the uh, to my face of this product and it is like a powder it is like a mattifying like let's get rid of that grease but it doesn't look like you've added any more product or go cakey or go weird it really just looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin so not only is it your foundation but it is your touch up on the go as well without looking cakey or thick or anything like that that is light right there so there's the difference in the colors light versus medium so you guys can tell just a little bit. I'm going to be taking this brush right here, and this is new to the collection as well. This is called the Wonder Brush for Face and Body. That's the box that it comes in. All of the packaging is absolutely adorable. And it just says Stila on the front, and it's this big, massive brush like this. How I like to apply this product is I dip it into the compact, and I kind of get both sides on there. And then what I like to do is first start placing it down like this and then start really like buffing it in kind of in sideways motions and I feel like by doing it that way you really get a lot better coverage and it seems like whoa she's being a bit rough but if you just like place it down like this you just don't get that full coverage so this is definitely something that um it's very buildable because if you just, like I said, just place it downwards, then you get a really light coverage. But if you really just buff it into the skin, you can get a full coverage and it's such a like poreless, um, silky finish. It's crazy. It really just gives you this poreless, like doll face airbrushed. And when you touch the skin, it feels so unbelievably smooth. Um, it's kind of like Facetune, but in real life. Like, it just kind of blurs everything out and just creates this, like, 
amazingly gorgeous filled in canvas it's insane this is definitely a buildable as well like you can add more and it doesn't get all like cakey looking or anything like that just so you guys know so you can see it is covered everything that I need to cover it's completely flawless looking the wrinkles are fabulous the pores are filled it basically just fills everything that you need to be filled I do want to make a note because this is not for dry skin. I have been using a new um, acne treatment and it's kind of making me a little bit dry around my chin and this definitely does accentuate dry patches. So if you have dry skin or flakies um, or you know, you just have little bits of skin that are kind of, um, see like that, it really does accentuate them a lot. So this is definitely for a normal combination oily skin type I would not recommend it for dry skin whatsoever or flaky skin or um, you know if you just have any kind of little pieces of dryness going on it's going to accentuate them so just keep that in mind the next thing is called the Stila wonder brush for face and body this is what it looks like you can use this it says for face and body I haven't tried it on my body but I have used it to apply this foundation I highly recommend if you're gonna get the foundation definitely get this brush because I feel like this brush in particular really just gets it on your face to its maximum fabulousness. Um, this retails for $58 so the brush is definitely up there but I think it's one of those brushes that you can't really find a dupe for and I think it really does like these go hand in hand. It says that you can use it for sculpting, buffing, and blending all of your favorite powders, liquids, and creams. So the next thing in the collection is the Stila Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner. This is the box it comes in and then all the tops show the color on the top with the um, exact color. They are these gorgeous little pots and basically what it is is a, a sponge, it's got a gold top, a sponge filled with ink and that is the liner. So you don't have any product sitting on the top that's going to dry out and get all crusty or gross. It's inside of the sponge. There are six shades. These retail for $28. This is called Garnet Ink, which is like kind of a really deep burgundy color. Then there is the Smoky Quartz, which is gorgeous. It's like this really gorgeous, like smoky, deep taupe color. This is called Copper Ink, which is a really gorgeous copper. Then we have Amethyst Ink, just a really gorgeous amethyst pretty color. Then we have Blue Sapphire Ink, which is a really dark blue. And I'm going to swatch all of these for you guys on my hand in a second. And then we have the Black Obsidian Ink. So these are insane. Again, I talk a little bit more about them when I'm applying them. But these are a game changer as far as liners go. They really just... Um, they stay on forever, they don't crease, they dry really nice and quickly. They're a very thin, lightweight formula, so they're super easy to apply. However, what you need to apply them with, I think, this is awesome, is the La Quill Precision Eyeliner Brush. It comes like this, it looks like a little quill, it's amazing. You can take it off if you want to if you're traveling, but it comes in this little tube, and it's just this tiny little brush, it's thicker at the base, really, really skinny little tip, and it is so awesome. It's It just makes applying this liner amazing, flawless, so easy, super quick, very precise. It's an amazing little brush. This retails for $32, especially if you're someone like me who has really super duper oily lids. There's a lot of products that say they don't go into the crease, they dry quickly, blah, blah, blah. And they still go up into my crease and it's super annoying. Um, and these do not at all. I mean, they really are an amazing, whoopsie doodle, amazing eyeliner. Okay, so you can see there we have the Garnet, the Copper, the Amethyst, the Blue Sapphire, the Smoky Quartz, and then the Black Obsidian. So those are all the colors there, and you can see how gorgeous those are. The Smoky Quartz is so beautiful. It's so shimmery, and it really catches the eye. The Blue and the... Um, Amethyst are also shimmery. The garnet is a matte and the black is a matte. So those are all the shades there. Really just a and they're all dry. Like once they dry, they dry. That's it. They're not going anywhere. Okay, this is called the Stila Got Inked Cushion Eye Liner in Copper Ink. So it comes in this little pot and it's like a little sponge that is filled with the ink. 
So it's nice because it stays nice and wet in there, but the product itself dries really quickly on the lid. So you don't have to worry about it getting up into your eye crease or anything like that. So you basically just press it like a couple times so that you get it on the brush. And then you just super easily, this precision of this brush is so amazing. And it's it just gives you such a great um, winged liner. I mean, it's just so nice. It's got a lot of control. But you can see how quick that was, and it is now dry. It's immediately dry. I mean, this dries so fast, so you do have to work quite quickly with it, but you can always add and layer on, and because it is such a thin ink formula, it's not going to get, like, cakey or lumpy or thick or anything. Like, it's as if you were going to, like, a cream liner. Sometimes if you keep on applying, it can look a little thick. This is so thin and such a lightweight texture that if it dries when you're doing it, grab some more, it's no problem. So it really is a awesome, awesome liner. It's actually um, probably the best formula I've ever used. And I feel like if you are gonna get this product, definitely invest in the brush. Uh, these are like the most amazing things in the entire world. I'm just looking up my information so that I can tell you guys the price. This is the Lash Stunner Extreme Lash Primer. It is $26. It says, prime lashes with dramatic length and volume for a voluptuous, stunning impact when paired with your favorite mascara. So you don't have to use this with the mascara that Stila has. You can use it with anything if you want. So basically, it's a fiber lash primer. It's amazing. This is what it looks like. All of the packaging of this collection is so cute. It's gold. It's fabulous. This is a fiber mascara. It's like a fiber base. So it has these tiny little nude colored fibers that you put onto your lid or onto your lashes first. Now, you guys know that I have tried other kind of fiber mascaras in the past and the fibers are dry. So what happens is they fall onto the, they fall down onto your face, they fall into my eye and they burn like crazy because I have the most sensitive eyes in the world. And while they do work and make your lashes look really humongous, they burn and so I can't use them because they're dry fibers. This is a mascara fiber. So basically, it's not like you're brushing on these crazy dry fibers that are flying all over your face. It is a, it's a wet, like it's a moist um, formula. So it's basically like you're applying a nude mascara that has little fibers in it. So I like to do two coats of the fiber, which is this primer. And you can't really tell from the first coat because it's nude, so you're like, oh, is this really doing anything? Make sure you get the tops of your lashes too. But I like to really just wiggle it in there and really get those edges out. And then I do put a little bit on the bottom as well. And then we have the mascara. This is the Huge Extreme Lash Mascara for $23. And this is described as a must-have volumizing mascara that transforms the most timid lashes with bigger, bolder, blacker formula. Formulated with the richest black pigments, this mascara coats each lash fully for a dramatic, volumized look. A blend of soft, malleable waxes keep lashes feeling flexible and soft, allowing you to apply multiple coats without lashes feeling clumpy or crunchy. These two you need to get these. They are amazing. They make your lashes look fabulous. Okay, so after you do your two coats of the lash primer, then you're gonna apply the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, and this is what it looks like. Now the brush is massive. I'm gonna show you right now. That's what it looks like. It's a big old brush, and it gets a little bit thinner. It's like an hourglass. It gets a little bit thinner in the, in the waist, and then it gets really fat at the tip. So, what I will say about this is that it's a very dry formula, which makes it so that you don't have to worry about um, it pulling your lashes down or making them look like too spindly or, um, you know how some, if they're like a really wet formula, they just don't give you the lift that you need. So this is nice because it is a dry formula, it really does fan out your lashes really, really nicely. And, um, the only thing I will say about this brush being so big is that you will get it on your lid, or at least I do. I mean, I'm terrible with that anyway. With this brush, it is easy to get the mascara up on your eyelid, but because it is such a dry formula, 
it it like brushes right off like you just let it dry and then you can just get a little brush or q-tip and it just comes right off and it doesn't smudge your makeup or the mascara at all so you can see with the first coat how extreme those lashes are it really does just build them up and make them look really fanned out and full and long I mean it basically just looks like you have false lashes on but I would say you do have to work quite quickly with this because it does dry quickly um, don't wait around so like if your phone rings and you're doing mascara don't take the call just do it it really opens up the eyes like it is intense mascara it is not if you want a natural lash this is like extreme full-on like massive lashes so definitely out of all of the fiber lashes I've ever tried this is by far the best product what I love about it is that it does not get on um, like throughout the day it does not transfer unless you're at the beach like for what for some reason I was at the beach and it did transfer but I was just greasy I didn't use a primer I didn't have any like too much eyeshadow on it was just like a super simple look so it did transfer then when I didn't have a primer and I was out in the Sun and I was like hot and sweaty but every other time I've tried it it does not transfer below it does not transfer above and like I said you can just get a little brush with the little bits that have transferred on. It works better with a Q-tip, but I don't have a Q-tip in here. There you guys go. You can see how it works in action. It gives you fabulous lashes. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please don't forget to lay, uh, click that link down below. Use my coupon code so that you guys can get 20% off and free shipping. Give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!